Ooh. Ooh, it is late summer and I always at least have like one week of depression regarding my writing career for some reason because once school starts up, I get in my head where I'm like, I could have gotten more done over the summer. But this year, it's not been as bad because I did get some writing done, not only on the poetry front, but on another front, which I'm very excited about, and that is comic book writing. Ever since G-Fest, I have had a fire lit under me. Ever since my dear friend Matt Frank opened the door for me to be part of this, the Godzilla 70th Anniversary Anthology, I kind of never really fathomed that comic book writing would ever be in my periphery. And I had someone at G-Fest ask me, like, Donnie, why don't you try, try it more? Why don't you do it more? Like, why don't you venture in that direction? And I really sat with that question. I was like, you know what? Why haven't I? I I mean, I love the franchise, obviously. I've been a writer for 15 to 20 years. I've had publications under my belt. I mean, I'm so I'm very familiar, obviously, with the franchise well enough to be able to create interesting stories. I've created interesting stories in those 15 to 20 years. Why don't I try to do it? And then, of course, like my insecure brain was like, Donnie, you're not like it's very competitive. Like you like you have like a toe dipped in the pool. But, you know, I'm I'm really still just warmed by the reception at G-Fest, not only during the Kaiju Writers panel, but like during the co-signing I did with Matt, where people were so excited and, and encouraging and very passionate about it. And I've sat with that all summer, and I have been diligently working on pitches and proposals. I had a, one of the editors, I've had a couple of editors tell me to send them pitches and proposals. So I've been really mobilizing to do that. And I've submitted a few. I don't know what will become of them. I, I as a writer, I always keep myself realistic that rejections are very common. And I try to keep myself grounded in that reality. But I know that there is a small flicker of hope that I could eventually see my name on a Godzilla comic book series. And I, that would be phenomenal. I just, that is probably one of my dreams at this point. You know, it's funny because I've, I've had frequent conversations like, so getting a book published, uh, and I've since gotten three, was like one of my final bucket list items for like things that I want to do like as a creator. And I felt really stagnant after that. And now that the thought of expanding my writing into comic book writing has really reignited my love of writing, I would say. It's made me even look at poetry differently. It's made me realize that I am a pretty damn versatile writer. And I just hope that in the future, there will be another opportunity to venture into comic book writing for me, because I know that I do have the ability to present interesting stories and make some interesting characters. And I feel like after all those years of writing fan fiction, I am capable of bringing to light interesting perspectives on the characters that we've grown to love so much over the years. So... I don't know. This is just stream of consciousness. I'm just at a point where I like I've overcome the insecurity and now I'm like excited and ready to go. And I just have this very optimistic feeling that in the future, I will keep this trajectory going and venture more so into comic book writing for the Godzilla franchise, maybe even other franchises, Star Trek, like love it who knows i guess the sky's the limit <laughs> yeah anyway share your thoughts below let me know how you've been doing in the comments thank you as always for listening go check out my series growing up with godzilla if you've not watched it yet where i interview fellow godzilla fans about how they've grown with the character and franchise over time and i guess 
I th really appreciate all of you because I feel like you've been on this journey with me for a long time. And if you're new to my channel, I know that you've seen this journey even recently that I've been on as a writer. And I know that you always are encouraging and that means a lot to me. Until next time, friends.